Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 6.3.4 Troubleshooting Ether Channel. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the route, the Switching, Routing, and Wireless Essentials Version 7 Cisco Networking Academy curriculum. So in this particular lab assignment, we are troubleshooting. So that means again, as I always say in air quotes, they have configured some stuff correctly, but that means they tried their best, but there's a lot of stuff configured incorrectly that we need to go in and fix. So you can get, you probably guessed that we'll be using a lot of our show commands, show run, and in this specific instance, show ether channel summary, as well as show ether channel port channel to actually dissect what is going on. Now we have a lot of channel groups and a lot of port channels here. We have six of them. So we've got uh, port channels going from switch one to switch two, switch one to switch four, and switch one to switch three, as well as other ones. So we really need to look at our chart here because looking at all those labels can get a little confusing. All of them use LACP active, or they're supposed to, so that makes it a little bit simpler. We don't have to worry about putting them in any other mode um, like PAGP desirable or anything like that or passive. They're all inactive, um, but we do need to dive into each one and look at the ports that are assigned to it and kind of just really dissect it port channel by port channel or channel group by channel group. Remember, port channel, channel group, ether channel, those are all interchangeable words. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually dive into the first one based off of our chart here, which is again port channel or channel group one on switch one's end is G01 and G02 on switch two's end is also G01 and G02 and it should be an LACP active. So on switch one here, I'm gonna do a show ether channel. And if you ever wanna look at the other ones, you can do a question mark, um, but I'm gonna just do a summary first to see if we can make any heads or tails of what's going on. So for port channel one, we see it's down. That's what that D is for. So it's not really operational. The ports are not um, added to the port channel right now. So let's check the other end. Enable uh, show ether channel summary. And again, port channel one is doing the same thing. Now, one thing we can learn from this is you notice the protocol is different. So that's probably why port channel one is down. You can't have two ends of a port channel in different modes. So let's go here on port on switch three and actually try to fix that. So we're going configuration mode and we're going to do no interface port channel one. All right. You see it changed state to down. And again, I did a no interface port channel one right here so let's go into interface range and we're going to still do those same two ports which are g01 through two and we're going to do channel group one mode and then remember we have to make sure we actually put in the correct mode which should be active okay it says creating port channel one then we'll exit out and we'll do port channel one sorry, interface, port channel one, switch port mode trunk. And I'm gonna fast forward just to, oh, and we gotta do no shut, sorry. Cause they shut down when we did that. So G01 through two, no shutdown. All right, and they're up now. And uh, switch threes end. All right, that changed to up. Uh, so make sure interface G01 through two, interface range G01 through two, no shut, just to make sure they're all up and they are. So let's fast forward a little bit and see if we can't get these operational. Now let's do a do show ether channel summary. And voila, we see that port channel one is now operational, is active, and is up for LACP. So we are good to go. We like the P's right here next to each port. That means it's operating and in the port channel. We want LACP for all of these in this particular lab, and SU means it's up and good. All right, now let's check port channel two. 
let's just keep going down the list here. Port channel 2 is between G01 and G02 on S2 and S4. So we'll go to S2. And again, we'll do enable config T. Or actually, let's do a show ether channel summary first. And port channel 2, it notices is up. LACP is operational. So that is good. On that end, switch fours in. Enable show ether channel summary. And port channel two here, LACP, is up and operational. All right. Now let's check port channel three between S1 and S2. Port channel 3 is up and operational. Port channel 3, up and operational. Now let's check port channel 4. Port channel 4 is down here, FA23, FA023 uh, and 24 on switch 3 and switch 4. Uh, we also want to make sure, too, as we go through here, that the port number, so port channel 3 was 23 and 24 and that is correct now port channel 4 is between FA 0 23 and 24 on switch 3 and switch 4 so do show ether channel summary now port channel 4 shows PAGP and is down okay so I probably need to fix that on this end for sure so let's actually just go ahead and start the so I'm going to do a no interface port channel 4. That will remove it out. It also puts our ports in shutdown mode, so we need to make sure to turn them back on as well. So we'll go into interface range FA0 23 through 24, and we're going to do the channel group 4 is the one we're fixing. Mode, and we're going to put it in active. They're all in active. And then no shutdown. Okay. It took my abbreviation there. You all you have to do is even type no SHU and it will work. And then we'll do port channel four. Sorry, interface port channel four. And then switch port mode trunk. Now let's look at switch four's end. And show ether channel summary and here in switch port 4 we got a lot of problems here it's in LACP mode but they've actually got four ports there so we actually need to take those ports out so we'll do go to config mode and do a no port channel 4 sorry no interface port channel 4 okay it changed all state to down so it actually took all four of those ports out. Now, right now we're working on port channel four with FA0, 23, and 24. So we'll do interface range FA0, 23 through 24. And then we're going to do uh, channel group four mode active. And we are going to turn these, this, these two back on with no shut. It's only going to turn on 23 and 24. All right, and then port channel four. Make sure we put interface before it and then switch port mode trunk. All right, so we got those fixed. And again, if we um, now do a do show ether channel summary, all right, we see port channel four is now only in those two ports and it is up. All right, so let's check port channel five. Port channel five here is on our chart, and that's using FA0 21 and 22 from switch one to switch four. So FA0 21 and 22 from switch one to switch four. All right, so let me do a show ether channel summary. Sorry, we need to do a do because we're in configuration mode. Port channel five is down, um, so that is not good, and we'll see why. It is 21 and 22, so that's okay. Switch fours end, doesn't show anything. So 
We need to go in the interface range, FA021 through 22 here, and do channel group 5 mode active, and then no shutdown. Okay, and then interface port channel 5 switch port mode trunk. I'm going to fast forward just a little bit with a fast forward button. Then do a do show ether channel summary. And port five, port channel 5 is now up and operational. Let's check our other EN2 just to be sure, but it should reflect the same. And it does. Our last port channel is port channel 6. Switch 2 and switch 3, FA021 and 22. So let's check that, switch 2 and switch 3. All right, before it was up and operational, I'll do it one more time. Okay, it's up and operational, switch 3. And it looks like it is down for this one for port channel 6 because it's in PAGP and what was the other one? Switch 2. <clears throat> I may have looked at the wrong port channel here. Alright, port channel 6 is down for FA021 and 22 but I see why this end is in LACP mode on Switch 2 but Switch 3's end was in PAGP so they put mode desirable instead of mode active. So what we need to do is do no interface port channel 6 going to change them down then interface range this was FA 021 through 22 here and we need to do channel dash group 6 mode active no shutdown to turn these back on interface port channel 6 switch port mode trunk all right And then we can do a do show ether channel summary. And those are up and operational as well. So now that we have all the port channels operational, we also need to make sure that they are in trunking mode so they'll work properly with sending the amount of traffic and everything across each one. So if we go to switch one and do a show run, sorry, do show run. We are looking to make sure the port channels are in trunking mode. So they should say switch port mode trunk here. And again, that's the L that does not say 11, is L1. So like port channel 3, port channel 5, not port channel 15. So don't get confused there. Uh, they're in port, they're in trunking mode. And then the individual ports are all in trunking mode as well. What we're looking for is to make sure none say access mode. So let's go to switch two. You see here, uh, if you do a show run, Port channel 2, 3, and 6 all say access mode, so we need to be able to fix that. So, port channel, we said uh, 2, 3, and 6. So, configuration mode, interface port channel 2, switch port mode trunk, interface port... <clears throat> channel 6 switch port mode trunk and then what was our last one we said 2 3 and 6 so now let's do 3 so I'm going to change it to 3 and I'll go up and so I don't have to retype that again switch port mode trunk and you see consistency is being restored because the other ends were not in trunking mode all right, and that actually gets us to 100%. So that must be all of them that were in access mode still, all the ones on Switch 2's end. So that shows you how to fix every issue. And this one's a little confusing. It's got a lot of redundancy set up to do a lot of Ether channels. Um, but again, you see STP is blocking as well so that we don't create those switching loops because this is, again, a lot of redundancy um, in six port channels. And that will fix every issue in this lab and get you to 100%.